Well, great job, guys. Look at this tree. This thing had fallen over into one of those slack line straps, and it was being basically held by the slack line strap. It started to uproot a little bit more. When I came and looked at it a few days ago, I told them to remove all this fencing because at that point, you wouldn't want to send a climber up to do any of the work. It needed to come down and it had to fall. But by the grace of God, we were able to get it to fall directly between these two posts. Just amazing. And we we're trying not to hit any of these posts. We got to fall directly in between the posts, cut the tension out, rolled all the pieces over into the green area, the green space, and then cleaned up all the brush. And it only took us a couple of hours. And now we're packing up all the rest of the gear and getting out of here. We're in the back slope of this place in Happy Valley and it's it's got a lot of trees. But uh, anyway, I should have videoed this because it just went so perfect. But do you know why I didn't video it? Because I didn't expect it to go perfect. And I didn't want to put it on. <laughs> I would have to, I'd have to load it even if it was a mistake because you guys got to see that stuff. But, but man, it, it just fell so perfectly. Praise the Lord. All right, guys, keep checking in. We'll see if we got anything else for you. All right, so our tree came off from up here and crushed onto the house. I've got it cleaned back to here, and we've got this pretty sizable stem leaning against the roof. What we're gonna do is set it up on a pulley up here. We've got Ryan up in the tree, and we're gonna go three to one if we have to, but I think just the three of us, we can lift it up because it's got a nice pivot point down here, and then we'll swing it away from the house. So that's what we're up to next try to get you some video but it's kind of crazy right now this one fell last week and the company that was supposed to come didn't take care of it yet so they called us because this fell last night crushed into the neighbor's house and now this multi-step tree some morons topped it in the past and if you look up in here we'll try to get in there where you can see it this crack right here you're watching the wind it's opening up can you see that right there that crack it's opening up as the wind blows and it's coming out of there at some point in time there it is you see it opening right there. this crack right here it's opening and closing as the wind goes and the wind is gusting right now and that's about a 40 foot piece of this cedar that's coming out into their yard more most likely Hopefully it doesn't grab and twist. I'd, I think it'll go right in our yard. Uh, there's nothing we can do. If we climb up there, we're just endangering somebody. So we're not going after it. We're just gonna see if it falls. If it doesn't fall, we'll take it down as soon as this wind storms over. Otherwise, we're cleaning up this mess, possibly the neighbor's mess, and dealing with the rest of this, but back to work. I, uh... Oh no. Sorry I keep missing to get you guys in here, but this uh, supported Christmas tree fell over as just getting ready to hit the house. But look at the bracket that they had on this thing. I mean, that's half inch almost steel and it broke, bent all the way over. That's how hard the winds were blowing. That is crazy. I, I just can't believe it could bend this kind of metal like this. But uh, yep, yeah, I'm moving on to the next one.